hello everybody welcome in listen i pray that your day is going amazing i am a little sleepy uh <laughs> it has been one of those days it's been a long day but it's been a great day so i'm glad to see you all uh today's a day i'm just in chill mode um so i have some things that i finished in the back i'm going to be getting those ready to send out and everything i'm so excited about that that i did finish the um there's just one thing i do have to finish i don't know about y'all but i've been having squirrel moments um i don't know if y'all have squirrel moments but i've been out here having squirrel moments and basically crochet squirrel chronicles and basically what that means for me is that i'll have a whole bunch of whips and i and i just go ha i want this one or not a whole bunch of whips i have things that i finished but they're not all the way done like for instance weaving the ends um put the border on things of that nature and i've done all of those things but i did those things uh yesterday and i'm still in my squirrel moment now i do have other things i need to complete but i do not feel like it <laughs> But one thing I feel like getting doing, I don't know if it's a, is it an ADHD uh, squirrel moment? I don't know. Y'all pray for me. Listen, I got to get rid of this yarn. This, it drives me crazy. And what it is, it's a premier home yarn. I know it's nice. It's it's a cotton yarn. People, some people love it. I, on the other hand, cannot stand it. Um, So what I want to do is get rid of it. And so what I've been doing is making little things here and there like uh dishcloths every so often and so today um today um i want to make a pot holder to get rid of this yarn that i do not like <laughs> so if y'all are a if anybody a little squirrely or is it just me listen i got other things i could be doing you know like finishing the teddy bears uh suitcase but i don't want to do that right now i'm gonna finish it i'm gonna get there um but if you would like to uh make a pot holder with me i will gladly wait that's raven she's been a little special y'all she let me tell you about my raven today she fell asleep on the couch out here and and then she fell asleep at the top of the couch on the back of the couch and she rolled off. <laughs> I, I'm not laughing. She rolled off on the back. She fell off the couch, guys. She's fine. She just, I don't know what's going on. My dogs, they just being a little special. So anyway, all that to say, hi, welcome to Kelly's Crochet Adventures. Tonight, we will be working on some I'm going to be doing a pot holder. Feel free to join me. Um, if you want to get rid of some yarn, yes, come on. You know what, TS? I see your comment. I see you said something. Keep splitting. You said I have cotton yarn from Hobie, and it is driving me nuts. Keep splitting. Yes. Let's get rid of our yarns today, huh? Let's work on that, huh? Let's. Uh oh. Shall I'm dropping other headphones. Oh, that's not me. That's Raven. Raven's dropping my headphones. Girl, Raven, honey, go sit, sit on the chair, Raven. She probably won't. She wants to lay on the floor over here. Raven. Yeah, sit down here, down here, right here. Perfect. So if anybody's interested in getting rid of some cotton today, get jiggy with it with me this is a great evening i'm gonna turn on some little music and we're gonna get to it i'll tell you all the things we're gonna do it's gonna just be a really um how long does it take oh you know me it takes me forever first thing you're gonna need you're gonna need some cotton the cotton that you if you got cotton you don't like or if you got cotton that you love bring it bring it bring it um kitchen cotton that is here raven there you go there you go do girl do you she is doing the most today so if you're interested in crocheting along with me and just doing this tonight i say come on let's go let's get jiggy with it let's do it as a family but if you don't want to and you got something else you want to work on honey child that's fine too i'm here for it all but let me tell you i'm just talking talking away i didn't even greet y'all properly i am so sorry guys hello 
<laughs> Let me just go ahead and pull everybody up just to say hello again. We got Janet Egan in the place to be. Hey, Janet. We got Sandra Atkinson. Hey, girl, honey. Hi. And TS says plops down, kicks up her feet. Ugh, I hate working weekends. Yeah, I had some work to do today, too. Um, we got Michelle Morgan. Hello. Welcome in. Hey, 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 hey. All right. All right. All right. Hey. And we got uh, Laura's Block Ministries. Hello, dear. Welcome in. And we got, you said, I had a great day as well, Kelly. Well, I'm glad your day was great. Yeah. It's cold outside. It feel like winter here. Um, you said, driving up in your driveway, please open the front door. Gave you a thumbs up. Thank you so much, Sheila. Yeah, welcome in. Sheila at Crosslands here, everybody. Welcome. Thanks for the thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, feel free to hit the thumbs up. We got Roseanne Alexander. Hey there, love. Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Girl, you know, my brain has been squirrely. I ain't going to kid you since yesterday. Yes. Yes, she was. It's amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen. I I ain't kidding you. I have been doing the things. Listen, okay, let's go, T.S., what you talking? You said, I have cotton yarn from Hobie, and it's driving me nuts. Keep splitting. Yeah, girl, let's get rid of some cotton today. If you want to, just get a, either a five-millimeter hook. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing a regular hook today, guys. You know why? I have two size five clover hooks, and I have no idea where they are. But I do not. I'm tripping. They around here somewhere. I know they in the house. That part, I know mm-hmm okay uh let's go you said i think that is was oh it was absolutely yeah what a lovely blessings yes thank you yeah uh, yes i'm praying she's richly blessed because of it as for for sure for sure thank you i really do appreciate it it is absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful we have a new little yarn store in town oh let's go sandra i hear that oh yeah for sure I just uh, spreading. Oh, thank you so much, Roseanne. I love to hear it. Love it. Love it. Hey, Dozer gets crafty, honey. Welcome in. Roseanne says a prayer is precious. Yes, Roseanne. And thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, Margaret O'Day. Hello. And TS says took me two days, two days to do a small washcloth with that cotton yarn. Did it to match the uh tapestry mosaic washcloth i made a while back well we're gonna do an easy stitch child we ain't trying to do nothing super hard that's so nice uh oh kelly's on the hook. oh y'all so sweet oh y'all are so sweet oh thank you so much you said i finished three wheelchair lap lap gans okay today that's a blessing girl janet egan you be getting it girl i ain't even gonna get you how fast do you crochet <laughs> Because you be out here. I love to hear it. And somebody is going to be blessed because of your faithfulness and your gift of, honey, crafting, crocheting. I, I, I love to hear it. Mm -hmm. I just had a coworker come pick up four of my laying hens. Okay. Now I sh I'm shopping for chicks. Can't have too much room in the coop. Okay, I hear that. That sounds like a joy. I ain't kidding. Sounds like you having fun. Dozer gets crafty and welcome. And we got, uh, hey, Mimi Katu, welcome in. Margaret Oa Day, did I say welcome, girl? Hi, welcome. Don't mind me, child. It's been a squirrely day. I'm out here being a squirrely, squirrely, squirrely day for me. <laughs> it was a simple, oh, you're so sweet. I get told, how could you give your handmade stuff away? I tell them why, why? I tell them why big. Okay. Thank you. Oh no, thank you. You are such a blessing. I kid you not. Hello, Gizmo. What is it? What you need, mamas? Gizmo's up here. My daughter bought me two mystery bags a few months ago back for help me. And ugh, they were full of that cotton yarn. Okay, I hear that. Gizmo, come here. Either you go downstairs or you can go lay down. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that's a blessing that you got that, though. You know what I mean? Even though you can't stand that yarn, I feel that. I'm going to show you why I do not like this yarn. It does exactly the same. Yeah. Hey, Samantha, welcome in. Mm-hmm. Tell them, uh, you tell them why not. Yeah, why not, huh? Why not be a blessing? Why not show your love? Why not just... Be who God created us to be and give because it's more blessing. To, it's a much more blessing. It's much more blessed 
blessed to give than to receive. I heard that, but honey, I love receiving and blessing and giving. Okay, I love it all. So yeah. You said, what size are your lap blankets? Trying to make one, but don't know what size it's supposed to be. Oh, that's a great question uh, for Janet. Janet, yes. Can you let us know? What's up, Gizmo? What do you want? What you want, Gizzy? You can go back downstairs if you want to. If you go, go potty. Go see Papa Jimmy. He will take you outside. I promise you. Let Papa Jimmy take you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Hey, good evening, Kathleen. Welcome in. How are you feeling this blessed uh, Saturday? I'm crochet on a gray and black corner to corner blanket in the round. That's what's up. Oh my gosh. Let's see. You said dozer gets crafty says my grandma got my prayer shawl today and she loved it. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I love to hear it. That's awesome. Let's see. You said, laugh out loud. Stop feeding caffeine to the squirrels, Kelly. Oh, honey, I'm not feeding caffeine to the squirrels. I Listen, I just don't. I be having squirrel moments. And when I see stuff that I want to get rid of, I want to get rid of it. You know what I mean? And so that's what I want to do today. For sure. You said mine are for yes, okay. Okay, okay. Hey, she said, Hey there, Roseanne. The shawl you made for Kelly is truly beautiful. Isn't it absolutely adorable? Uh Margaret, I love it. Very nice. You said I just started one too, uh Can Candace. Oh, really? Corner to corner blankets are what's happening tonight. That's what's happening. Now, if you are working on something and you just want to take a break from and just want to do something different, child, I'm gonna make a pie holder. And there's a reason why I'm making these pie holders. Listen, my niece asked me if I could make her some dishcloths, and I did that, and I thought Man, I got this yarn that I really do not care for that is in my house right now. And so um, I want to get rid of it today or whenever, as soon as possible. So I made her some dishcloths, but I thought, you know what? It'd be great if I could just make her uh, extra thick pot holders. Yes, squirrels, guys. Listen, I've been squirreling. I had items I need to get done. I did finish both shawls. I'm not going to put the fringe on the one shawl for the gentleman. He's back there. I do have to block those. So they're sitting over there waiting to be blocked. I also have what's in here. Nothing's in here that I want to. Um, No, this is for, oh, this is for the little guy. This is for his family. Here, you get in there too because y'all just need to have seat in there. Okay, so what happened was, yeah, squirrels. So I needed to finish the blanket, which I did. I still got to sew in a, a few ends on this. So only a few. I only got a few ends I need to sew in on this, okay? Is it a few? Nope, this one right here. This one and anything else hanging. I think that might be the last one. I thought I did all of them. I don't know, child. Y'all see anything in the front? But this is one that I need to... I'll just do that right now. You see what I'm saying? Squirrels. Squirrel moments. Right now. I have a squirrel moment right now. I don't know why I'm squirreling, but it is the thing to do today. So I do want to get rid of this yarn. I'm going to show you. I cannot stand that yarn. I've been looking at it and looking at it. And like, you got to go. That's what's been going on in my mind. Huh? How about y'all? Does it am I the only one that be like tripping with this squirrel stuff? <laughs> am, am I the only one? Or y'all, y'all got this all under control. Y'all, y'all got this going on. Y'all know. Well, I'm gonna tell you what. We gonna make a we gonna make a uh what we say we making today. You see what I'm saying? There I go. Ha! We are going to be making a, a hot pad. A nice hot pad uh, it's gonna be thick and um it's gonna be with the yarn that I do not care for much why because I want to get rid of the yarn Lord it's got to go goodbye is I wanted to go bye-bye so I am just sewing this yarn in 
don't mind me. This yarn is going to get uh, just it's just one little piece here that was hanging. So I figure I go ahead and get this out the way. At least get this put in, and then we good to go. And then I'm gonna make another dish, another um, what did I call it? Dag on it. I called it something, a pot holder, for a hot pad pot holder, however, whatever you wanna call it. That's what it's gonna be. And I want to make that for my niece just to get rid of this yarn. I got a, um, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. All right. So that part is done, but I just need to block these. So this is one. The one I did, I got to block that one there. I finished some of the ends on that one. So these are both done. This is one that's finished. This is one that's finished. This is another one for my sister in love. If she comes in the chat, you know who she is. I made this for her. Yeah, I sewed in the ends. I need to block it, guys. But this is it. I got all the ends in. I'm happy about that. She wanted a hat to go with it, so I'm finishing up that hat, but I'm taking a break from that too because I'm looking at this cotton. We talked about it. <laughs> I keep saying about it. Yes. Oh, wait. I found another end that needs to be sewed in. Not on this. I thought I put all that yarn in. Okay, we're going to set this right here. We're going to set him right there, and we're going to finish this little bit right here it's just one little he said um let's so see you laughing uh ts girl honey let's get jiggy with it let's get rid of some stuff today if you want if y'all got some cotton yarn that y'all are not completely fond of or sick of looking at the cotton yarn out here in these streets i got some yarn i'm sick of looking at so i wanted to go I, and i bought a lot of it too that's what made me mad about it. not mad upset about it but i thought oh it's so pretty this and that but it's that yarn to get on my daggone nerves child and i i haven't met a yarn that i didn't like though it's not that i don't like the yarn i just don't like this particular brand of yarn it is the premier um cotton because it's splitty and it looks it's splitty it's halo-y i'm like you're cotton you're not supposed to do that you're not supposed to be all like that are you hmm? is it i didn't think so okay i think i got all of these i think i Man, I guess I didn't. Hold on, let me put this one in. I got another one to sew in, guys. I thought I had these sewn in. Just a few ends right here. It don't take long to get these sewn in. Mm -mm. No, it doesn't. Just uh, kind of sewing these in. I think that's it. I think that's it. That should be. If it's not, shall it's close to it. Okay. I think that's it on the yarn ends here. Let me uh cut this off. One second, guys. Cut this off. All right.
so yeah if you want to do that i think i'm good on the ends i think i got them all in fam yes i did yes i did yay all done all right so those are done and ready to block and get going all right fam this is it this is it this is it family all right let me see what y'all saying i'm sorry i missed y'all in the chat let me come back in here let's see who i missed uh squirrels yes child it's a bunch of them i'm squirreling today guys listen i don't know why i'm so squirrely but i'm like i gotta get stuff done and out the way you said i have like four blankets on hooks that i need to finish but they're gonna have to wait a bit longer yeah they gotta go sit down that's all right i understand that mm -hmm. hey there dinky uh crafts jennifer honey i am squirreling today so pray for me uh you said i am good thanks okay i hope you are well you are as well oh look at y'all y'all so sweet not feeling so pretty what do you mean you're not feeling what you talking about <laughs> what you talking about roseanne what you saying nice thank you pretty shawl thank you dinky crafts nice thank you you don't like premiere yes let's talk about it um you say hey there kale ross and honey you said i got is an awesome god he reigns from heaven above with wisdom power in love our god is an awesome god amen i just had to sing that because you put it in there like that so i had to sing it so what's up Carol Bronson? honey good to see you thanks for coming kelly to be honest i haven't found a cotton yarn yet that isn't splitty can you recommend any good cotton yarn okay i am working with a cotton blend but the yarn that i work with that's not as splitty that i think is good now a lot of cotton yarn splits and here's the thing margaret too it's a yarn and hook relationship as well you know what i'm saying so the yarn has to have a the 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 hook has to have a good relationship with the yarn yeah it's crazy i know but um the yarn that i use is um sugar and cream peaches and cream secrets um what is it from hobby lobby secret crafters that's one that i use that i like i actually like that one i actually really like like it um let me see what do, what do i have down here oh i got secret crafters down here and i got i got sugar and cream it just depends but for the most part i like let me show you maybe you can see the difference and i'll show you the difference between the um these yarns and you'll see what i'm talking about because chale i ain't even gonna kid you um we just gonna bring it all in the truth about cotton let's go <laughs> the truth about cotton yarn let's do it um would you say you said yeah the cotton yarn i have is hobie friends cotton eight six and i have like 20 skeins left oh okay okay that's cool you said hey hey gail honey welcome in i didn't see you come in the door but hello yes hi gail you said hey angela right honey welcome in you said hi hey hi kills and everyone in the chat how are you doing tonight i'm doing fine tonight drinking water working on my crystal cow bunny all right let's go let's do it i love to hear it angela it's great to see you wow finished already oh with those yeah child mm-hmm done with those yes 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 yeah she got a lot of interesting cotton on it you said love that my daughter bought me some mystery yarns but eesh that's a lot of cotton yeah i hear that mm-hmm for sure hey Bernal, welcome in good to see you yeah 
Everybody say hello and waving. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Nana Michelle, honey, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Listen, I appreciate y'all coming in and saying hello to everybody. I'm just having one of those days, y'all. Today is, um, um, today's just been, you know, it's been, a, it was a good day, but it's just one of them days. It started yesterday. The squirreling did. So I got the things done I need to get done. So those two are done. I just got to block them. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm working on a hat to match that one, y'all. The um, blue and the uh, the blue and the peach one there. And also, let's see. I just got to sew up this. Um, uh, what was it? What did I call it? I called it a hot pad, but it's an... Um, yeah, and what would I call that hot pad? Uh, okay, we gonna make one a pot holder. That's what we gonna make out this yarn. Okay, you said I've been late. I've been late lately. No, no, no. Don't you worry about that. No, you're never late. You come when you can. That's what you do. And when you come when you can, that don't make you late. That just make you a neighbor walking down the street saying, let me see if my friend home. And you see my lights is on. You're like, I'm going to stop by and see who all over there. And that's what you're doing. You're stopping by. You got, you know, lights are on. Lights came in action is on. And we heard. So, yeah. So, you good. Don't even worry about that. So, let me, uh, I'm going to show you uh, some of this yarn that uh, I was talking about that I actually like to use for. Um, these type of things, but one yarn I want to get rid of is the Premier Home cotton yarn, which I cannot stand. Sorry, I'm scooting up closer so that we can get jiggy with it. So we can get jiggy with it tonight, and I'm using a regular hook. Why? Because I can't find where I put my two size five millimeter hooks of, and I'm not going to the store buy another one. <laughs> so I have hooks. Uh, it's not that I don't. Yeah, so, yeah, so, but it's cool. Um, so let me show you the yarn. So let's bring production in so you can see what I'm talking about. I want you to see the yarn that I'm talking about that I don't mind working with, the cotton that I don't mind using. And then I, I'm going to show you the cotton that I can't stand using, and we're going to make stuff with it to get it out of my face forever. <laughs> Yeah, let's see, let's see. Um, what y'all saying? Oh, hello, and every you said thanks for the advice, y'all. Yeah, a very good point about the hook and the yarn relationship too. Yeah, yeah. So just you might have to change hooks for some of the splitting situations you do. Yep, it likes other hooks better, right? Um, oh, Kelly, that sounds great. Wish I could walk down the street to see you. You just did. You virtually walked down the street. <laughs> you just did that. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're gonna get rid of some yarn today. Okay, let's 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 just go on and get production together. Production, come in the room. Uh huh. Come on in the room. You ready? I think. Mm. <laughs> we gonna see. We we gonna see. All right, got the lights on. Lights, camera, action. Oh. Wouldn't be nice to go ahead and invite uh, production in the room. So let me go ahead and do that real quick, guys. Thank y'all so much for y'all's patience. Appreciate it. It's been one of those days. I got water in my cup, by the way. Water in my cup. On top of that, guys, I got a little confession. Child, I've been out here, and I just wanted something really sweet today, and I did that. Guess what I got? Let me tell y'all. Man, I went and got some Reese cups, and I ate all of them. I didn't share it with nobody nope shared with no one <laughs> shared with no one did i say that out loud yeah i shared with no one fam um and i, I bought my husband some too so he wouldn't ask me for mine how about that i'm a trip ain't i <laughs> no i was being kind i figured i'd buy him, buy him his own so then he won't have to worry about me and mine's <laughs> you understand what i mean yeah okay all right, I feel like it's moving a little bit. Yeah, that's what explains it. I wanted some Reese cups. I did that. And I ate all of them. 
So if I'm a little bit wiry, <laughs> child, that's because I have some Reese cups today. Sure. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, fam. I don't. Okay, I don't know why this is being a little weird. All right, we're going to bring production up here. And, well, I have to, I call it a production, but it ain't production, child. That's the wrong, it's the wrong camera. That's what the problem is. Um, here we go. Okay. I'm good. I'm I think it's better. Yeah, the squirrels had some sugar today. So if I seem a little off, that's all fam. That's it. That's all it is. Let's see. Um, okay, let me go ahead and bring in Production. Production, you ready? You ready? I think so. Let's go on and get him. Come on, production. All right, fam. We are we are back in business. We in business. This is it right here. This is what's going on out here in these streets. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> you said, oh Lord, that explains it. Yeah, all of it, girl. I ain't even gonna kid you. She didn't feed the squirrels caffeine. No, no. She stuffed them with sugar instead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I don't even mess with sugar like that all the time. But I totally did it today. And if I tell you what size I got, I ain't going to tell you because then y'all going to be like, man, you did that for real. Um, but just know I ate all the Reese cups that was in there. And all of them. And I should, normally just might eat two and then put them in the freezer and then eat the other ones later, like another day or what. Mm -mm, no. Not today, all of them. I put my crocheting down, been doing it since 5.30 this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, you've been busy, wow. Peanut butter cups that are Easter eggs are good. They seem better than the cups. That's what the lady at the gas station said, because that's where I went to go get them. Mm -hmm. That's where I went. Listen, I, listen, I'll be out here, I'm telling the truth, yeah. Hey, Terry Johnson, honey, welcome in. Come on in. Come and check out all uh, what I'm be working on today because I'm squirreling a little bit. So, yes, yes, yes. Terry is here. <laughs> you said, tell it all, Kelly. Tell it all. I did. I did. I told you. I told you most of it. <laughs> most of it was I got, a, I got a pack of Reese cups. Not the small pack. I got the big pack. So, if you know what's in the big pack, the long one, about like this long. Yep, I ate all of them. So if y'all seem a little special, ta-da. Okay, so let's talk about it. All right, so this cotton, sugar and cream. I don't mind working with sugar and cream. Yes, it does get a little splitty. Why? You can look how, look how it's spun. Look at the twist on it, first of all. This is 100% cotton, and I like these for discloths and everything. I don't mind working with this yarn at all. This is sugar and cream. I don't mind it. Um, it does act a little splitty sometimes. But my favorite cotton to work with is this brand, Crafter's Secret. What do I call it? Secret Crafters? Okay, I said it backwards, but it's Crafter's Secret. Man, I love this yarn. Look how t this is a little bit, it's more, it's spun a little tighter. If you can see that, the twists are a little tighter. Let me show you than this I feel I don't know if you could see if you can tell the difference but the this one seems it's like tighter than this one this one's a little looser so yeah this one would split this one would split so we're gonna put this guy we're gonna set him over here somewhere go on and sit down um then let me show you the cotton that I cannot stand, that I have a little bit of this left. This is Premier Cotton Yarn, and let me show you why I don't like it. I don't know if you can see, it's got like little knots 
in it. It's halo-y. It splits. And I do not like it. Here's another one. I'm almost done with this one. Same, same, same. This is a home premiere and it's it does the same thing. It's a little halo-y. What's the rest of it? Where in the world is the... Shall I... Okay. This is it right here. This, These are related. These are both home. I don't know if you can tell. The pink is a little more halo-y than this one. But you can see little knots in this. I don't like that. It's my personal opinion. People may like it. I don't know. I don't know how you like your cotton. But I don't like my cotton like this. I'm going to tell you that right now. You say, ew, no thank you. Right. So that, guess what I got to do? I got to get rid of it. So that's what we do on the night. That's what we do on the night. This is sugar and cream. I don't mind this. I don't mind this. This sugar and cream. This one is pretty, pretty doggone all right. I don't mind this one. This is sh uh, sugar and cream as well. Well, I'm going to set him. Where am I going to set you? I'm going to set him over there. Just go on the set right there. And I'm going to set this on the spinny thingy. We're going to spin this one around because we getting rid of that one today. We getting rid of it. And I'm getting rid of this pink as well. Now this, I love it. Absolutely nice cotton yarn. I love Crafter's Secret for dishcloths and uh, washcloths and things. I don't mind using the sugar and cream for same thing. Dishcloths and that, okay? Dish towels and all that. But that daggone, this... This got to go. This I got another full one of these. That one's downstairs. I ain't even bring that one up. Same color. She got to go to. Why? I'm sick of her. She got to go. So if you are interested in getting rid of some cotton that you do not want and you want to make something and give it away. Oh, I'm going to show you this other cotton I have too. That I don't mind too much of. This one is peaches and cream. I have a few of these. So I don't mind these. Yes, I don't mind those. So that's the deal, fam. That's my problem. That's what we're getting rid of today. So if you're interested, y'all want to make some pot holders, come on in, bring your cotton that you do not like i'm going to use a regular crochet hook like i said i do not know where i put my two five millimeter clover hooks i have two of them and they somewhere around this house so i'm just using a regular crochet hook today i'm going to be using stitch markers and i'm going to use some scissors and i bought a case of these little thingies of these and a darning needle a little darning needle i'm gonna i eventually need it i'm gonna need it eventually so yeah that's what's happening so all that to say i hate this cotton that i have but we're gonna use it and we're gonna make stuff to get rid of it this is like i said the rest of this my niece she loves pink listen yeah don't come for me for all the people who don't like pink <laughs> my, that's for my this for my niece <laughs> Oh, uh, speaking of not liking pink, I love purple crochet and more with Drini. Hey, Sandrine, girl, honey, hi. Yes, hello, Sharonda. Hello there, Nicole. Good to see you. And we got, um, you said, I, uh, um, Nana Michelle says, I have the premier bobbins and they are not wound together enough and can be splitty. This is coming from someone that uses unspun together, number one. So I don't know what is up with the premier yarn. Yeah, I am not here for it. You feel me? I, listen, we getting rid of, that's what we getting rid of today. Premier yarn. Why? Because it's splitty. It's halo-y. It's knotty. I don't know if you can see the knots in here. Let me see. I showed y'all earlier. This one, 
it's like little teeny tiny knots and stuff in here look look at that this yarn can you see it i don't know i don't know oh sorry 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 there we go Mm-hmm. So if y'all want to uh, get jiggy with me tonight, feel free to do so. We're going to turn some music on. I'm going to make a pot holder. You're welcome to follow me on, in this pattern that I'm going to do. Um, we we just, we're going to get rid of it. We're just going to get rid of it. Um, I won't use this one to right now. I'll use this one like to, I'll use it, but not right now. I'll use it in another pattern when I want to add this to as a uh to get rid of this part of the scrap but I'm gonna do a whole one in this color because <laughs> I listen I am done with this yarn y'all listen forgive me if I seem a little spicy tonight it's just that I gotta get rid of this yarn don't nobody uh want this right here let's see So it's going to be a double thick, uh, it's going to be double thick and, um, we're going to get rid of it. That's what we're going to do. So if you want, we're going to chain 41. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to chain 41. Are y'all coming? If you want to join me, feel free to do so. He said, uh, Kelly, what? That's a great idea about making dish calls with the cotton that we don't like. I've been wondering what to do with my cotton. Yeah, let's go. Let's make some. Just get them out the way. Let's get this cotton out the way. Let's get rid of this yarn, fam. We're going to chain 41. I'm making a... Uh, if you want to make dish calls, feel free to do so. I'm making a... Um, what did I say? It's a it's gonna be a, a double thick pot holder. Double thick pot holder. And it's we're gonna start with a chain of 41. We'll probably end up doing 20 rows to let you know. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. Let's start with um a chain 41. Y'all ready? Feel free, let me know. If you want to, if you don't want to, you just want to watch, that's fine. I'm going to turn some music on. Let's get some music going because this is, it's just one of those days, guys. And it's probably because of all the chocolate that I ate. Hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, chain 41, everybody. Let's go. Hold on. We've got to get rid of this cotton. I kid you not. One, two. Right, that's my 41 chain guys so we're starting there you said okay going to work on the call the midwife blanket okay for a change of pace today oh sounds good no pink it's not purple p word is the word pink <laughs> yeah yeah I know Sandrine ain't feeling that color. 
I, I ain't trying to hurt nobody today, but I'm trying to get rid, rid of some yarn today that's been uh, disrespectful in my life, which is this uh, Premier Home Cotton. So if you're in, willing to do a pot holder with me, this is a chain 41. Let's go. Um, I just stopped a minute uh, there. So we chain 41 right there. All right. You got that right, Dozer gets crafty. We can't handle disrespectful yarn. So I chained 41. So now I'm going to turn. We're going to go in the back. We're going to go in the back bumps of this yarn. If you uh, want to, we're going to start in the second chain from the hook. And what we're going to do, we're going to do single crochets. Fam, this is going to be full of single crochets. So... That's one. Let's see. Here we go. And we're going to do single crochets all the way down. And this is an easy beginner project as well. Hello, Stacy May. Welcome in. Good to see you. So that's what we're doing. We're getting rid of this yarn. This is a squirrel moment, guys. I know I have other projects I need to do, but... This yarn been staring at me and I've been staring at it. And guess what? I'm playing zero games with it. This yarn is disrespectful, as you can see, or maybe not. Um, we are making a single crochet thick pot holder. This is going to be a thick pot holder. So we are going to just go ahead and get jiggy with it. I chain 41. After you chain 41, turn your yarn you turn your chain over go into the back loop go into the second uh, chain from the hook and we're going to do single crochets in all the chains across so that's what i'm doing right now it's going to be a thick um pot holder And why not why not do single crochets so the whole project is going to be single crochet FYI so I'm just going in seems a little a little loose that's why all right yeah we get listen i am not this i don't talk bad about yarn i have not met yarn that i did not like but what i don't like i'll just say it's my least favorite i won't say i, I like because if i get it i'll use it right but this is my least favorite yarn it is home premier cotton yarn i don't really care for it much because it is it splits it's halo-y it's got little bumps all throughout it look I'm not kidding let me show you can you see that right there it's like that with this whole yarn I do not want it so that's why that's why we're getting rid of this yarn we're getting rid of it and how am I getting rid of it I'm getting rid of it by making this pot holder that I'm gonna give to my niece because and if I make enough I, I just want to get rid of it this is how much I have left on this cone I bought a whole cone of this thing and I've been working on this stuff this is it this is I gotta look how much I got good gracious this it's got to go <laughs> 
Yes, this yarn is disrespectful. And no, I can't find my clover hooks. <laughs> my H hooks. I got two H hooks. And I don't know where they are, but we using a regular hook today. That's all right. Who this? Child, she ain't even got a name. It's she she blank. She just crocheted up today. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. We're going in the back loops, the back bumps, not back loops, the back bumps of this particular project. So if you want to get started, if you want to do a pot holder with me, feel free to uh, chain 41. Then you turn your chain over once you reach that reset 41. Go on the second bump or a separate second chain from the uh, hook. Go on the back bump of that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm doing now. One in the back bumps here. This is always like the slow part for me too. Not only is this bumpy yarn and splitty halo -y yarn, cotton to be exact. Um, I try not to be uh, super tight with this, these, uh, this chain, but Look, this, look how splitty this is. I don't know if you can even see it, but it's like super splitty. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what'd you say? You said we got six to eight inches of snow. Whoa, Kel. Honey, y'all got some snow today. Well, I'll tell you what, it felt like it was supposed to be a blizzard outside where I live because it was free then, like it's all the way winter. And I'm thinking, I need our weather to go ahead and take its pharmaceuticals because she ain't acting right. It's spring, child. And it's freezing outside like it's daggone. Like it's been a blizzard. And that cold, that, that cold that be biting, it's that bitey kind, kind of cold. It's like, whew. That, that cold that get in your bones cold. It's that kind of cold out here. I'm like, why are we doing that? Now it's 32 degrees. Um, How cold was it earlier? I can't remember. I know it was in the 20s at least. I'm like, this is crazy. Come on. Even though it felt like it was colder than that. You know how sometimes they say it's this degrees, but it feels like this degrees. That's what it felt like. It felt like probably uh, closer to 15, 15 degrees because of the way the wind was and the wind was blowing. Like, I'm like, really? Come on. We doing this today and blowing cold. Yeah. And it does not help that um, I crochet slow. But it is what it is, fam. I ain't even gonna kid you. Again, I'm making a extra thick pot holder with cotton. This is a Premier Home Cotton that I am excited to get rid of. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I like Premier Yarns. For some reason, this cotton, the, the cottons that I've been getting from them has not been very um, respectful. 
and it don't have nothing to do with the hook that you use with this particular kind it's just no all right we in the last one all right fam 40 you should have 40 um stitches here let me see this one right here here's the um i just like putting this so i can see my last stitch that i put on the end of the row that's only going to be for for right now um that's just for me this ain't got nothing to do with nothing you ain't got to do this it's just for me child you said uh what'd you say what you saying? You said, ew, okay, yuck. Poor Kelly is all out of source. Yucky yarn, no clover hooks. I wouldn't be able to crochet without my clovers or dye hooks. Yeah, I can yeah, I can do it. And I haven't met a crochet hook that I that I completely dislike, right? And I go back to old school when we, you know, before there was the clover, there was these. This is all we had. So yeah. Yes, it it's colder now than the beginning of March. It's only 28 out now at my house. Wow. Yeah, it's 32 degrees now over here, I think. Um, you said, I got some cotton yarn from the Dollar Tree when everyone on YouTube was talking about it. It was really bad. Split a lot. Yeah. You going to bed? Okay, Dinky Crash. Jennifer, honey, blessings to you. May the most high bless you. And may heaven smile upon you for sure. You said, Kelly, I've seen it snow in May. Yes. We've, we've had snow, I mean, in weird times, but it will be like every, it's like every, I don't want to say blue moon, but every blue, every so often we'd have some crazy weather jumping off. Now that we've done that we got to the end here i want to show you what we're going to do we are going to turn our work okay this is the other side right after we have went into the back bumps of those so this is the other side uh this is the tail the tails at the top so you can see that we're actually on the bottom of that that uh, chain that we worked out and I'm just going to leave that out so we can see what we're working at but um so now I'm going to go into there is no chain one or nothing like that we're going to go into this first stitch right here and we're going to do a single crochet let me see if I can get this guy out the way get out the way move get out the way move so hopefully I can get that out the way yeah should be a total of 40 and then single crochet in each on each V across each stitch you see that mm -hmm. so that's what we're doing it's, it's going to be kind of tough getting in there because we're going in the back part that's what you want you want to go in the back part of this 
or the bottom of the uh, chain, so to speak, and get in here. Get in there. Come on, don't be disrespectful, too. So it's a little tight, and that's fine. So that was what we're doing. We're going in each V, going to both loops. And we're going to be going in the round. So there's going to be no turning of your work. There's going to be no uh, chain ones, any of that. No need for all that. We're doing a dish. We're doing a uh, pot holder, so no need to do that. And I'm gonna call this round. I'm gonna call this round one. Actually, when I get to the end of this, come on, let's go. Get in there. No, we're doing a um, Gail. Let's see it. Let's see. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see what you're saying. You said, I either get a snowstorm or tornado on my birthday. Very few nice spring days for April 3rd. Yeah, that's jacked up. You didn't chain one after or before each row. That's right. No chain one at all. Do not. No chain. No, there's no need because we're going to be going in the round, right? So there's no need. So we're just going to go into each of these stitches with a single crochet. You're going to need a stitch marker. So if you don't have one, grab one. If you're, if you're doing this project with me. Get in there. is going to be it oh so as you see i gotta get under here let me just go under here there. under both loops right yeah it is a little tight but that's just the nature of messing around with cotton and is on the bottom part. No, you don't need to do that. Uh-uh. Nope. We're just going to keep going around and around. There's no need for that. Not for this. It's a different kind. I know. It's like some of them you do do that, but for this pot holder, we're not going to have to do that, Stacy May. Welcome in, Stacy May. Good to see you. You say you're not slip stitching in the first stitch, and you just you just keep going and with the, your increases in the round. Yep, absolutely. And we'll do it for like 20 rounds. So right now we're on. This is the first. This is going to be first round because we did our chain. After we did our chain, we did our single crochet, 
and then instead of turning our work we just flipped it over on the back side side of that and we just kept going around see we just went around to the other side and you'll see the stitches how they the um, stitches bump up against each other oh you oh it's just explaining oh yeah 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 you're just explaining yeah absolutely yeah you're absolutely right child i can't be tell i don't be telling <laughs> i'll be confused with chats and stuff with comments and stuff so forgive me stacy man i wasn't trying to be funny or nothing or um but i appreciate you i do i appreciate you thanks for explaining but that's exactly what we're doing out here in these streets exactly so thank you oh did i get into that v go under that stitch and get in there man this yarn is splitty that's the, this is the part all right all right this should be all right now get get in there There it goes. Thank you, Stacy, man. I appreciate you, though. Hey there, uh, Jazzy Sims. Welcome in. She said, hi, everyone. I'm new to the stream. How you doing, Jazzy Sims? Honey, listen, I am making a pot holder from this yarn that, I, this cotton yarn that is not my most favorite. So, because this yarn is splitty, it's knotty, it's all the things. And my niece, she needs some, she was, um, she asked me for some dishcloths and I made her some. And I said, you know what? I am going to also make her some pot holders. So this is a pot holder. I just started it. Um, yarn I want to get rid of. So thank you for visiting. Thanks for coming in and hanging out. We do welcome you. Thank y'all for welcoming Jazzy, Jazzy Sims. Glad to have you. But that's what's going on right now. And I'm a slow crocheter, so this is the nature of what I be doing out here, child. Slow, slow, slow. But definitely trying to get rid of this yarn. This is a uh, Premier Home yarn. I don't even know the name of this color. I threw away the label a long time ago, but I just want this yarn to go goodbye. I want the yarn to go goodbye. Go goodbye. Let me turn my, my heat. I got my space heater on. I need to turn it up because now I'm getting a little smoky. Hold on. I'm looking around, making sure my little doggies ain't out here in the way. All right. Oh, Kelly told me. Oh, cool. Well, thank you for coming out. I appreciate you. Much love to you. Yep, so we are getting jiggy with it. Thank you so much for those who shared me out, too. I appreciate you. If you haven't done so already, feel free to hit the thumbs up. That would be great. Um, also, um, this yarn jeez the little knots in it guys ah. guys and gals I, I promise you something special so jazz is what are you working on are you working on anything really fun right now got any uh, whips going on Once I get past this row, it's going to be nice and jiggy. You said thank you and need to some love here. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's what we about out here in these streets, honey. We love everybody out here. No 
drama, just peace, love, and crochet, calming, relaxing, try to be. Um, oh, thank you, Margaret. Oh, a day you're so sweet and so kind. But yeah, that's what we out here doing. Just sharing love. And me fussing. The most you see me fussing at is this daggone yarn. That's who I be fussing at out here in these streets. This daggone yarn. <laughs> because my yarn can be quite disrespectful. Well, this brand has been. So that's why I want to get kind of get rid of it. Oh, cool. You um diamond painting right now? That's what's up. I like diamond painting. That's what I do when I lose my crow joe. When my crow joe seems to get ready to go out the window. We grab a diamond paint and we get we get jiggy with it. Yes, we do. All right, we coming on through. Coming on through. I think I got one more stitch here. Ooh. One more stitch. I want to make sure that it's eight uh, 40 on this side as well. So this is where I'm going to stop and make sure I count these. Oh, thank you so much. So we started here. I know it looks a little crazy. One, two, three, four. That's my last stitch, 40 right there. All right. So now that I've done that, here I'll let you see, you could see how I did it. This was the first round of crochet we did. And instead of turning my work and going over top of it, we didn't do that. We just went on the back. We went through the back. And, uh, Mm-hmm, that's what we did. And this is 40 stitches on one side and 40 on this side. And this is uh, 80 stitches. So we went, so we'll be going in the round. So we'll be going in the round and we'll be doing 80 stitches in the round. So I wanna make sure we're doing everything that we need to do here. going around this is how we're gonna do it we're gonna it's gonna look like a little pouch but I'm gonna take this I had put this stitch marker in so because shall I be be like where my first stitch at I always got to do it no matter how long I've been crocheting sometimes I'll be losing stitches child and I don't want that for my life not with this project so we're gonna go ahead and go to the other side and in this stitch here we're gonna put our first single crochet right there that first stitch and then I'm going to definitely put a stitch marker right here oh look my stitch marker go child don't be leaving me where you think you going we're gonna put it right here that's the first stitch just going around no increases or anything like that then we're going to go into the next stitch and we're gonna do 80 crochets all the way around this is round two fam yes you said um, Nana Michelle asks is this the pot holder that folds upon itself yes 
I've seen the after part, but never saw it actually worked. How cool. Yeah, yeah, it is. You'll see it flip. It'll be ready. Mm-hmm. You said, hi, Brunel. Brunel said, I crochet a uh, what? Okay. Uh, tonight, you said, I crochet a C A C uh, visits tonight. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool, Brunel. We appreciate you, buddy. So what's on your, uh, yeah, Nana Michelle, you should try it. It's really cool. Um, but that's what I'm doing the whole time. You said I'm out of cranberry juice, but I'm co too comfy to get up and get more. Okay. All right. Hey, we relax and chill. So we're going to do 80 stitches around. So this is row two. But that's exactly what we're doing, uh, Nana Michelle. It folds in on itself, but you'll you'll see. Michelle, you so funny. You said you would get her some, but you have a cat on your lap. You can't get her more. Uh, Y'all are funny. But this is what we're doing. It's going to be a double thick pot holder. That's so sweet. Jazzy says she'll save your seat. You can get you some. Go get you some juice. Get you something to drink. I can't guarantee you I ain't going to say nothing crazy. <laughs> um, in the midst of doing all this fun, loving stuff with the yarn that is slightly disrespectful. You'll see it'll start folding in on itself. You'll see. It starts pretty daggone early. Oh, you're welcome. Um, you said I'm watching you do this. Oh, okay. Yeah. This yarn is... Not my best friend. Just be real honest about that. right here I know it looks big or whatnot but this is it right here go in this stitch right here come on oh I might just go on I'm gonna start crocheting over this I'm gonna start crocheting over that right now uh, hold on this yarn is splitting hold it don't do me like that, yarn. Don't split on me. There we go. I'm gonna start going over the tail of that. So I'm ready for that to be out my way. I just wanna make sure I'm in that stitch, I'm in it. There it is. 
You'll start to see it'll start turning on itself. As you can see, I'm going over this stitch, over this tail. Finally. Oh my goodness, Kale. You said there was a dead fruit fly in your. Yeah, where where are you come from? What do you do? Just jumping in your drinks or whatever? Where do they come from? This is round two, guys. Let's see. You know. that um going over top of this uh, pull some more of this off of here Oops. scissors don't do that here yeah, just sit right there Hello, Maritza. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in as well. Stitches, guys. Now we'll be cooking with oil here shortly. Right. And this one right here is the last stitch right here on this row and once you finish, you can count and see if you got 80 stitches. See? 
we got it going it's starting to kind of close in a little bit here so this is row two we need to do 20 rows so that's row two um we can count these stitches just make sure we got 80 if you want so let me go ahead and just i'll count them i don't care this is probably the only row you'll see me count i'm not counting no more but we should <laughs> Yep, so that's 80 rows, um, 80 uh, stitches. I probably won't count af after this because I'm just going to make sure I go on my stitch. If you start, if you're doing this and you see that you don't have, um, it's not closing in on itself, doesn't look like a rectangle or anything, then you may have added stitches. We're not going to do that. So this is the first stitch in row three right here so now we're on row three we're gonna go ahead and do that and we're gonna put a stitch marker right there so we know that's number one on row three all right so look and make sure I don't put two in the same stitch because it's easy to do the way this kind of looks it's easy to do you just got to kind of make sure that first stitch is in here we know all of this is that first stitch so we come in here the next one this is stitch number two right here okay just because the nature of this project the way it looks this stitch right here it looks is big so just got to be kind of mindful just make sure we don't go in that stitch twice Cause it can happen child i've seen worse things happen but i know that can happen so this is stitch number two for round three so we're gonna we need to do 20 rounds so let's go let me just keep going you'll see it'll start folding in on itself Hey, Nifty, welcome in. Good to see you. Feel free to hit the thumbs up if you haven't done so already. It's so great to see you. Thanks for coming by. I'm making a uh, pot holder from this disrespectful yarn I got. <laughs> it is Premier Home cotton yarn. When I mean disrespectful, I mean it. It's got like little knots in it. It's halo-y and it splits. Who does that all in one? All right, Janet Keegan, you said you've been up since 5.30? Yeah, time for you to call it a night for sure. I agree. Get you some good rest, okay, dear? And I'll be back out here tomorrow, so maybe we'll be back out here to finish this dish cloth. I mean, I dish cloth the a pot holder. We'll finish it up tomorrow because our crochet slow, but we need to do 20 rows. So try to get your 20 rows done by tomorrow. 
and we'll come back on here later on in the at 6 45 p.m and we will get back into this or get as close to 20 rows as you can if you like me and crochet slow child it takes time you said i do it too I'm do it to hello deco renove welcome in so this is like 80 stitches Right now I'm on row three. Or oh, round three. I won't say row. We're on round three. So we keep going around. You'll see. You said, I'm back. Had to refill the tea. And get uh, a potty break. Oh, no worries, Anana Michelle. Let me go on this stitch here so it thickens, but it's cool. Big, bigger stitches there. There's another one. Just make sure you don't put two stitches in the bigger stitches. You just kind of. And you keep going around. Probably me. Was I hollering out numbers while you was trying to count? Probably me, child. I don't know. My bad. No disrespect. Intentional right there. No disrespect intended, Kel Ross. And if that was me hollering out numbers for you. My bad. <laughs> you laughing at me, Kel Rawson. I mean, you just you ought to be all the way gone, child. Woo. coming around this is it's coming slow but sure but you'll see here in a minute once we get around this third row here
starting to kind of get a little curly you see see it here So that's the last one. So I know I did 80. You said I'm I'll be going to the last game of regulation before playoffs. Hey Laura's block winner sheets. That's awesome. Uh, playoffs tomorrow night. That's nice. So you can see this is kind of it's starting to kind of turn in on itself or whatnot. Like a little boat. Start looking like a little boat. But <laughs> it's not gonna be a boat when we get done. So that's 80 stitches I know because I counted them earlier and I know I did not add an extra stitch. I'm real careful about these big stitches that are a little bit wider because make sure you don't put two stitches in those wider stitches. Don't do that because you'll make it, you don't want to do that. So I'm going to take this off my first stitch. That's why we use the stitch marker to see where we are. See this big gigantic stitch right here? See it? It's bigger than the ones because it, it turned that corner, right? So we gonna, we already did this stitch. This one was a big one too. So you don't put an extra stitch there. Don't do that. Don't put an extra stitch. Just one stitch in each stitch all the way around. All right, guys, we're going to start row four. So this is the first stitch for row four. And we put that stitch marker in there. See how these little first stitches be a little chunky right there like that. Yeah, you can see it. It looks like it's two stitches, but it's not. It's just one stitch, right? So you don't want to go. You want to go into the next stitch. So that's what I'm going to do. That's stitch number two right there. This is round four. But you can see it's starting to get like a little boat. Look at a little boat. Oh, how cute is the boat? Okay. So we are on round four. I'm pulling out more yarn from this. Set that right there, like so, and like that. And we go on the next stitch, single crochet. Single crochet all the way around. It gets easier. See, I was struggling earlier, remember, get through those tight stitches, but we are cooking with oil now. said um good night all just joining in from ontario canada well welcome in rose dookie welcome i am crocheting a pot holder from yarn that i consider a bit disrespectful um i want to get rid of this yarn so that's why i'm making this pot holder this pot holder is going to be for my niece she got her apartment this is the first time that she's has an apartment without a roommate guys this is great she's got her own place and I am happy for her again this is row four going around I mean yeah round four round four not row round Okay. 
So this is what we do. We just keep going around. The stitch marker is going to be real important to have that in that first stitch so you know where your first stitch is. Remember, these corners can be a little tricky with the way these stitches be looking. Make sure you do not put um, two stitches in any of these. Just one stitch for each stitch, right? That's one right there. Here's the other one right here. It's a thick stitch, but that's all right. One goes in there. And then we're going to go on the next stitch. It looks like you, you missed a stitch, but you really didn't. This is one big gigantic stitch. So we go into the next stitch, which is this one right here. It's going around, going around. This is row four. We can be done with row four. that looks like two stitches we're going in just one stitch per 
her on single crochet per stitch. Now, that's it. Now we're going to start row five. Let's see, it's, it's coming along nice and slow, but it's coming along, ma'am. So once I finish, once I finish this, I usually flip it inside, flip it out. So the right side will be facing outside and the wrong side. So this is the wrong side. We, I mean, it's up to you how you want to do it, but that's how I do it. I flip it inside. I end up flipping it when I get done. But right now, all the right side for me is going to be on the inside. You don't have to. If you like the way this looks better, you can do that too. However you want to do it. Just leave it the way it is. Me, on the other hand, I like this. I like the I like the way it looks this way. So now we are on. We're getting ready to start row five. So we take this stitch marker out. That's the first stitch, fam, right there. Remember, only one stitch in each one single crochet in each stitch. Now we are going to put that stitch mark on there. Hey Katrina's, welcome in Katrina's crochet. Hook and loops is here. Good to see you. So this one we move over to this one. Yep. Here we go. We are in cooking with oil. We are on round five. Oops, oops, oops. It's bloody right there. All right. You said Kelly does that take just one regular size ball of crochet yarn? I do believe so. I believe so. Um, I believe it does. I just happen to have a bunch of this right here. Um, I'll probably do another one in pink, which is from a whole ball of just pink yarn. It's this, it's this premier home yarn, right? Um, and you also can do like scrap yarn with this too, with this particular project. As long as you know where your first stitch is, attach your yarn and attach your yarn and like, you know, the, how you do it from finishing your single crochet stitch, you attach that yarn, the, the new color if you want, and add stripes to it. I'm not doing that with this, I'm just going to go for what I know because I got enough of this. Even though my niece likes um pink I should be fine with this I made her pink one too I'll probably show it to you Sandra Agnes and you said I remember making these years ago they are nice yeah yeah it's totally up to you this is my squirrel moment though uh Sandra <laughs> Sandra, you know, I listen. I was like, I gotta get at this finish. Oh, I gotta get this finish. What's that? Oh, look at this yarn. Let me get rid of this yarn. That's what sparked this project right here. Want to get rid of this disrespectful yarn. And yes, I did call it disrespectful. This cotton, child, you can see it. It's like bumpy. Let me see if I can show you. It's bumpy, it's halo y, it's splitty not my most favorite I don't know if you can see I don't know if you can see the bumps in this but anyway it's bumpy throughout it plays zero games let me see if you can see see that all these little 
up here, right here, right here. It's not my favorite. So that's why I want to get rid of this yarn. And it's splitty too. And halo-y. Who has cotton as halo-y? Joe. Me, obviously, right now. But I'm on row five, everyone. Round five. Round five, because we're going in the round. Remember, one stitch in one single crochet in each stitch in the round. And you just keep going and going until you reach row 20. They only fast enough in row 20. Well, we got a little work to do at row 20, but once we do that, subscribing for all those who subscribe if, you, if you're not a subscriber honey why not feel free to subscribe we have nice yarny family out here we like having a good old time Banana boat. This yarn. Oh my gosh, this yarn is something.
what to do. Okay, he said, okay, time to put the hook down when I start making too many mistakes. Yeah, when that happens, that hook has got to go down, doesn't it? I'll just be on for a few more moments and we can work offline with this. This is just the same thing for 20 rows. I'm on row five right now. But um, this is, uh, yep, yeah, row five. All it is is single crochet in the round. That's all it is. So you see my last stitch for this this row. So I know I have 80 stitches. Oh. I don't know why this thing is making noises. You said Kelly, it's too bad that the yarn applies so bad. It's such a pretty color. I know. It is. It's a trip, right? It's pretty when you look at it, when it's all, once you get it all together, you're like, oh, that's fire. But then, but when you look at it, let me show you what it looked like on the, let me show you. It looks like it's fighting for his life <laughs> on here like it don't look nothing look at that oh you see all those bumps in there it's crazy so that's row all the way to row five i'll do row six and then after row six i think i'm gonna call it a night only because i'm a little bit exhausted but y'all get the idea so we'll come back on tomorrow around 6 45 p.m eastern standard time and we'll put it all together so if you are doing this if this is something that you have chosen to do tonight i'm on row this is the end of row five let me get ready for row six i'm gonna put the first stitch in for row six remember these bigger stitches on the end they get one stitch each. Do not put two stitches in these at all. Nowhere. Everybody gets a single crochet. Everybody is treated, created equal in this space. Everybody gets one single crochet. So then I put this back on here. Put our stitch marker that marks our first stitch of the first of the round six so I did round all the way round five round six you can tell in the middle where it started right let me see where did it start you can see where they bump up against each other here Like this row that way, this row that way, right? So you can see row one, round one, round two, round three, round four, and that was round five, and we are on round six. So I'm gonna do round six, and then after round six, we'll just call it a night. But if you're doing this, we'll be back on tomorrow. So get 20 rows done and meet me tomorrow at 6 45 p.m if you're doing this making a pot holder that's basically this is it's easy it's easy peasy just making sure you only put one stitch everybody gets one stitch so we're on round six that's the second stitch in round one you say, God bless you, and bye for now. Meow. Oh, blessings to you. Have a great night, Kel Rawson. And Kathleen, you say good night, Kelly, and Crochet Group. Hopefully, I will see you tomorrow. Pleasant dreams. Oh, same to you. Oh, I, Angela, precious world girl, honey, hi. <laughs> Sorry I missed you coming in. Y'all get some good rest. But remember, each stitch, each stitch gets a single crochet. Don't mind my little alien noises back here. It's my... It's my iPad going crazy over here. So we're going to do round six. And so and 
six. We are going, 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 going. This is a, this is going to be a pot holder. You said, oh, God bless you. Let's see. Kelly, odd question. Do you think it would be, it could be because, it could be bumpy because it's wrapped tight around the cone? No, I think it's just because it's the type of yarn because this was in a, one of those little skeins and it does the same thing. This is that home premiere too. And there's little bumpies and stuff all over in this. I don't know if you can see it, but it's halo-y, it's bumpy as well. I just think it's just how they make their cotton, which I do not appreciate. I think it's a bit disrespectful. And that's it, Terry Terry. How you doing, Terry? I think that's why. I think with it being wrapped around a cone, cone it smashes it down, but it's still bumpy. see how this works with here this is like an ergonomic situation i'll we'll put this on here see if i need it i don't know if i need it or not i don't know Have a blessed night. This is round six. That's my ergonomic piece that I put on with this.
and when you get those corner stitches and the stitch be a little bit big it look like you need to put another stitch inside that same stitch don't do that that's one stitch mm -mm. just go to the next stitch don't worry about that one mm -hmm. yeah let me single crochet all the way around this is row six Round six. I keep calling it row. It's round six. Round six. said I think Sandra said I think that when I made mine before I, I used just ordinary yarn oh girl how you use ordinary yarn for a hot pad or a, a oven uh, a pot holder because those melt if you used acrylic yarn that yarn will melt so fast on something hot girl honey that's why we are using cotton for this uh -uh. no ordinary yarn please definitely cotton Anytime I make something for the kitchen, it's got to be 100% cotton. out they gotta go potty and everything i'm gonna have to take them out sounds like my husband has gone night night himself <laughs> but as you can see it's coming around see but it's getting there you said it was many moons ago yeah for sure and it's nice, I guess, to practice with or whatnot. Thursday with since my current job change hours job changed hours and days to totally random and refused to give raises I went looking for another job oh wow that's cool well we'll keep you in prayer about that one so Thursday you have energy for you at the bank I pray that you get it if that's the job that you want that you get it Lifted up and pray about it. sure I can I'm getting these stitches these uh yeah the single crochet in the right space okay that's one see and here's one that's kind of big too mm-hmm that's the last one 
and then here we start again now we're going to start at round seven so this is going to be round seven stop right here now this is the first stitch of the round so I'm gonna put it here you want to keep everything safe and snug use a crochet I mean another stitch marker here for your last stitch make sure it don't go nowhere so this is round We're gonna be on round seven. See, it's it's folding up. It's gonna look like a triangle. It's like ooh, like a little banana boat. Everybody, get in the boat. Let's go. We heave ho, heave ho. Okay, never mind. Okay, um, that's what we're doing. So feel free to stop by tomorrow at 6:45 p.m. where we're gonna finish this up. We are gonna do all the way to round 20. If you can get all the way to round 20, if you're doing this, and then we will close it up tomorrow. How about that? We'll put a little uh, hook on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, actually sounds pretty good. Check in online deposit ATMs, checking to make sure the correct amounts went into the right account, making sure people are who they say they are, etc. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Hey there, Gloria J. Bowman. We'll stay on for another four minutes before we get out of here. But what I'm making is a, um, this is a pot holder. It is going to be an um, extra thick pot holder. When I get done, I'm going to flip this bad boy inside out. So the, the wrong side is on the outside, as you can see. But if you like the wrong side, you can leave it just like this. Yes, I'm on a sugar crash. You got that right. I'm going to bed. Let me drink with some water. That would be helpful. Yeah, I ate a bunch of Reese's Cups today, guys. Yeah, did that. Oh, that'll be cool, um, Gail, for sure. Feel free to come back to the replay to watch this. And so you can see how to start this. And so this, I stop, I'm stopping at row, I'm going to start row seven. But tomorrow by 6.45 p.m., I'll have 20 rows done. So all the way up to 20 rows, guys. And then... When we come back on at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, guess what? We're going to close this bad boy out. We're going to do some finishing on this. And we're going to call it a, a, a pie holder when it's done. That's what we're going to call it. Yep. Mm -hmm. You got that right, T.S., honey. I'm ready to go nine-nine. So anybody have any questions, comments, or concerns before we call it a night-night? Oh, thank you, Margaret Overday. I appreciate you. You have a blessed night, too. Stay encouraged. We're going to get the word in tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah, I'll be watching again in the morning. Oh, yeah, you'll have 20 rows done by 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You say, yeah, they like that. I have a legal degree in paralegal studies. So hoping without trying to. So hoping without trying to get excited. Yeah, if it, if it's for you, it's going to be for you, T.S. I believe that. So we will keep you lifted up in prayer as always. Here's my little banana boat for right now. That's what it's looking like. Everybody get in this super high banana boat. Go on and get in there. Get in. <laughs> all right all right oh you are so welcome to it for sure but yep this is gonna be nice when it's all said and done even though not my favorite yarn guys all right let's go ahead and let's
tell production good night. Production did all the things. All right, production. That's fine. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed because I do have a little bit of sugar crash because I ate some Reese cups. They was good too. And I really, I, I don't have no shame about it. No. <laughs> So y'all stay encouraged, huh? I pray y'all get some good rest too. And for those that are going into your houses of worship tomorrow, may you have a wonderful time in the Lord. Enjoy the fellowship with other believers. That'll be a blessing. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and close it down. So y'all stay encouraged, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, that was fun music, fun, fun, fun. All right. So y'all stay encouraged. Blessings to all of you all. We'll be back out here at six forty-five p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am. I'm gonna get some more water. I'm gonna drink a bunch of water. I gotta take the dogs out anyway. I'll probably go potty myself. Mm -hmm. Get all that sugar out of me. Yes, I ate too much. Um, so I got 20 ounces of water right here. We're gonna finish her up. And if I need to add another 16, I will. And then 99 if it was gonna be. All right. So y'all stay encouraged, stay blessed. I love y'all. Uh, production is going to be <laughs> and eventually so will I but I gotta take the little the royal court must go do their duty so that is what I'm gonna do and y'all stay encouraged stay blessed and I will see you next time if I don't see you tomorrow I know I'm gonna see you somewhere around these YouTube streets so may the most high bless you and may heaven smile upon you till next time fam bye